yeah, definitely. Um, did you ever get to meet uh, Hit Boy? Because I know they've been making some magic together. No, no. Um, I never met Hit Boy, but um, I at the end of the day, it's, it's always a hidden agenda behind everything. Yeah, yeah, that shit's crazy. Um, motherfuckers, it's um dissing on the internet, trying to get strikes, Instagram Live, um, walking around doing stuff. They doing it. Cloud chasing is a sport now. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Did you like uh, Young Dolph at all? And can you speak yeah. like what happened to him? Because that shit's crazy, man. You know. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's always a hidden agenda behind everything. Yeah, yeah, that shit's crazy. Um, can you let people know out there? Because a lot of people think like gangs are bad, and and for the most part, I would say that at their core, they're about uh, building community and stuff. Obviously, sometimes some people would do bad things, but uh, you know, like I said, at the core, they're kind of to to build community. So, would you speak on some of the good things that the gang? Yeah, so it was like it was like thirty minutes before he died. Well, how did he tell you there were t- right before um Nip died? Um, so yeah. so let everyone know um why all your music seems down because I, I heard from someone else, but just let let everyone know like like what happened with you. No, it was just like um, I was more into producing and stuff, and then when I, I figured out like right before um Nip died, he was like, "You got a voice. You need to take over." Um and finish what I'm doing. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Dude? Nip told you that? Yeah. So it was like, it was like 30 minutes before he died. Well, how did he tell you? Through a text or what happened? What the fuck? Hold up. This nigga psychotic, Chuck. I'm scratching my head right now. Now, this is the older interview of him. He, he, hold on. I'm not even going to put it together because I can't. I can't even put it together. Of course, they had a conversation. He said that he got a call from so-and-so, told him that he was dead, and then he called him. And he said this man was, like, inspirational on the phone to him, telling him, like, yo, you next up or some shit like that, right? But yet you still didn't tell him. You didn't tell him. Bro, what what what's going on, bro? I gotta hit that back, man, because I don't think people caught it. They probably lost behind it. No phone call. He called me right before um Nip died. He was like, "You got a voice. You need to take over um and finish what I'm doing." And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude?" Nip told you that. Yeah. So it was like it was like thirty minutes before he died. Well, how did he tell you? Through a text or what happened? No phone call. He called me. Wow. Why? Hold up, bro. Hold up. Hold up, bro. Bro, he just said, hold the fuck up, bro. (laughs) You can't make this shit up, man. A takeover, Chuck. All hood. All hood. A takeover. You can't make this shit up, bro. This man was on no jumper. And he said he called Nip on this platform a year ago. Nah, Chuck, Nip called him. Nip called him. him. (laughs) Huh? Yeah, I I peeped that. That's why I was looking at this nigga like, what the fuck? Yo, Rich, you hear this shit, gang? Yeah, why you you crack the whole case like that, Chuck? Bro, I'm just surfing through the internet. (laughs) I'm but bro, why you blow his internet. whole play? Bro, why I'm bro- surfing through the internet, bro. I didn't know this man said that. Why did you AK the nigga right there on the <laughs> spot? And you know what? Yo, boy, he not properly vetting his people, man. That's fucked up. The I man who say he do all the homework shirt. ain't doing his homework as bad as he want to do, do his work. You hear me? Bro, I hear you. Bro, we just like I'm gonna hit it back <laughs> one more time for these folks. Cause they probably think I'm tripping. Or well, I, I I I fucking this was strategic or something. This one no strategic, man. I just went Google. Y'all seen it on the screen. Went to view count. That's gonna show me the most views. It's gonna give me a time frame of what's going on. But this man literally just contradicted himself, bro. Hey, you know what I'm gonna say, Chuck? Shit is wild. 
the truth can never be considered disrespect. Hey, he said it out his own mouth. He said it. So is it? So wait, wait, wait a minute. So is it you called Nip or did Nip call Nip you? Nip called you. Or did Big U call you? Or Big U called you. You know you done fucked up, right? You ain't fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> He's done for the cloud shows TV. Dang. Let's hit this shit back, man. So you can get beat up. <laughs> then you can go back over there and, and shoot some shit up. Like, it, I mean, it's all game. Wow. Huh. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, um, how was it working with, uh, with, okay, do you want me to cut out where you said, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, <laughs> okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. When did he become okay, a crib? Look um, at him. Why all your music seems down? Because I, I heard from someone else, but just let, let everyone know, like, like what happened with you. No, it was just like, um, I was more into producing and stuff. And then when I, f I figured out, like, right before um, Nip died, he was like, you got a voice. You need to take over um, and finish what I'm doing. Right before Nip died, pay attention, gang. Pay attention. We, I'm not playing this for no reason. Play, pay attention. I'm doing this. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Cause... Nip told you that? Yeah. And so it was like, it was like 30 minutes before he died. Well, how did he tell you? Through a text or what happened? No phone call. He called me. Wow. Why? Why? Why do you think Nip would have said something like that? I don't know. I just, I just figured that he knew he was going to die. So he called you and said, "You need to finish off where he left off." Yeah, he was like, "No." This man said that he knew he was going to die. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? This dude is a fucking movie novel writing ass nigga. Come on, man. Hey, and ask your boy if this is your man. That's your man. This man just said this on his interview, bro. <laughs> Adam 22, you, you need to do better journalism, bro, bro. You acting like a little dude right now. You're not properly vetting your people and you're running irresponsible stories on your platform, Chico. Like, you can't, like, I didn't, like, bro, hey, Rich, keep it a buck. Did I make this up, bro, or he said it out his own mouth? Nah, that came out his two lips, man. And and he doesn't he sound. That we was going to find this or some shit? Like, wow, just, not man. just me, but the general public. That's crazy, bro. And like the man said, you know this is a big platform, bro. This is a big platform. Hey, this is a big platform. It's definitely for the cloud chaser. It's definitely for the cloud chaser TV. Gang. Wow, why 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 do you think Nip would have said something like that? I don't know. I just I just figured that he knew he was gonna die. So he called you and said, you need to finish off where he left off? Yeah, he was like, nobody's like you because um, these niggas is jealous. They envious of you. I love what you're doing. I love you, little bro. And then 30 minutes later, he died. Wow. How would he have known that they were going to kill him like that? It didn't seem like that's really no. strange. Yeah, it's just it's crazy. Cuz was um, inclined into the universe. So, like, cuz knew just, like, certain shit. Wow. Why wouldn't he have just left? You don't know, right? That's really weird. What else did he say to you? Did he say anything else? No, that's all he told me. Wow. Wow, so he knew you were really talented with music, working with all these people, right, and, and everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Huh. Did you Were you ever around when he was working on Victory Lap? Uh, no, because basically it was like um, he was doing his own thing, I was doing my own thing, and uh, he was locked in, and then I was locked in into like, doing what I was doing. Oh, wow. They need to start drug testing these niggas before they put them on no jumper. Man, look, man, we've been on live an uh, hour and 20 minutes, man. Like, y'all just heard what's going on, man. Like, damn, loose cannon. I ain't know it was that. See, is my boy. You went <laughs> on a whole nother platform and you said something totally different, but it, it still makes sense with the 30 minutes. You said the 30 minute shit. You got that in common. With all your stories, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. I get that, bro. But damn, you said that you called Nip out the big you phone call. But on here, you said that 
Nip called you and was bigging you up on how you a producer, you gonna be great, you know what I'm saying? Stop fucking with the haters and all the above. You feel me? That's very strange, my boy. But salute, wow. Man. Salute, man. This is done for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Hey, Rich Dollars, uh, shout out your platform, gang. Let them know where they can follow you at. Yeah, follow me at The Making of a Man TV, Rich Dollars 64. You know what I'm saying? Chuck, that's my pup, my partner. You know what I'm saying? Definitely Cloud Chasers, that's family. You know what I mean? No, salute, bro. I, I know you definitely going to cover this. Hey, we at it, though. We out. Salute. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. Gang.